सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर सिक्स इंडिविजुअल स्पोर्ट्स पेज नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री सिक्स पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन गेम्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स इन सम फॉर्म और द अदर हैव बीन अ पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ आइदर फॉर सर्वाइवल और फॉर प्लेजर Gradually human beings started organizing events including games and sports as community events consequently the need was felt to acquire specific skills and advancement in many sports each sport has its specific skills which need to be developed for playing correctly in this chapter we are going to discuss how some individual sports have evolved and how to develop proficiency in playing these sports rules and regulations of these sports are revised from time to time by their federations 6.2 badminton badminton is a game which is played by men women singles or doubles and both men and women mix doubles together it can be played by persons of all ages the first set of rules were formulated in pune in india in 1901 These rules were gradually adopted by other nations. Due to this reason, it is believed that badminton originated in India. However, the game became an international sport after the first All England Championship. In 1934, the International Badminton Federation (IBF) was formed and the rules of the game were standardized. World Badminton Federation (WBF) regulates the game. Badminton Association of India came into existence in 1934, and various state badminton associations are affiliated to it. 6.2.1 Types of events: Singles, Boys, Girls, Doubles, Boys, Girls, Mixed Doubles, Combination of a Boy and a Girl. now we have a box on the page and the box number is 6.1 it is important to note that playing any sport strengthens heart muscles reduces hypertension helps in keeping optimal weight as per height and helps in preventing of bone related disorders if played at least for 30 minutes a day after adequate warming up it keeps you feeling strong motivated stress free having high self esteem and induces better sleep at night there is a activity given on the page activity 6.1 collect information about your favorite badminton player national or international and which aspects of his or her game do you like now coming back to the chapter 6.2.2 facilities and equipment for playing badminton a racket net and shuttlecock are required court measurements the length and width of the doubles court shall be of 13.40 meter and 6.10 meter the height of the net is 1.55 meter at the sides and 1.52 meter at the center page number 54 at the top of the page we have a figure figure 6.1 badminton court The figure explains in detail the dimensions of a badminton court. Let's begin with court measurements. The length and width of the doubles court is 13.40 meter by 6.10 meter. The measurement of a singles court is 13.41 meters by 5.2 meters. The height of the net is 1.55 meters at the sides and 1.52 meter at the center. The court is divided into two parts. at the center there is a net and on either side we have players on each side of the net the playing area is divided into left service court and the right service court and at the center there is a center line nearer to the net there is a short service line then there are side line for doubles and there are side lines for singles on both the ends we have a back boundary line and near to the back boundary line we first have a long service line for singles and just above that we have a long service line for doubles 
the side line for doubles is 40 mm wide and the side line for singles is 40 mm wide. The center line too is 40 mm. The distance between center line and the side line for singles is 2.53 meter. The distance between side line for singles and side line for doubles is 420 mm. The distance between net and the short service line is 1.950 meter. The width of the short service line is 40 mm. The distance between short service line and the long service line for doubles is 3.880 meter. The width of the long service line for doubles is 40 mm and similarly also for long service line for singles. The distance between long service line for doubles and back boundary line is 720 mm. 6.2.3 How to play badminton? In singles, there is one player on each side and in doubles, there are two players on each side. The game begins with a toss and winner of the toss has the choice either to serve or to receive serve or opt any side of the court to start the game. Each player has to serve from alternate sides of the court and winner of each rally will get one point. A standard game consists of 21 points with a two-point difference. This side winning a game serves first in the next game. Server and receiver stand in diagonally opposite service courts and the shuttle must be hit below the waist. The shaft of the racket must be pointing in the downward direction with both feet in contact with the surface of the court until service is delivered. A let is called when a rally is stopped without any point. A let may be given if there is an accidental interference during play. The shuttle gets caught in the net after passing over the net, except during service. Now let's discuss the figure 6.2 given on the page. Figure 6.2 shows a racket and a shuttle. You can see a shuttle which is right in color with the cock at the bottom. And there is a badminton racket with clearly marked stringed area. And then there is a head. Then there is a throat shaft and the handle at the bottom. Now moving on with the chapter. Page number 55. The server serves before the receiver is ready. Umpire is unable to make a decision. Both sides commit a service court error. Any other situation as deemed fit. A player will lose the rally if service is not correct or server misses the service or shuttle lands outside the prescribed area. Shuttle passes through the net. Shuttle does not cross the net. Shuttle touches the walls or ceiling or shuttle hits twice on the player's racket and any part of his or her body touches the net. Three types of cards are used in badminton. That is, yellow card for first warning due to misconduct, red card for those who have been previously warned and black card for disqualifying a player for persistent misbehavior. This shall render a player disqualified for the entire tournament. Now time for some activity. Activity 6.2 Is badminton played in your school? If yes, is it played in a specially prepared court? Observe the court and find out the measurements. Compare it with the figure 6.1 given in your book. Now moving on with the chapter. 6.2.4 Fundamental skills of badminton The forehand grip the grip is very important for a player. The racket is held with a shake hand grip. The V between the thumb and four fingers runs down the middle of the side of the handle as shown in figure 6.3. Backhand grip. In this, the player holds the racket in the forehand grip. She or he then relaxes the grip and moves her or his hand over the top edge of the handle until the thumb lies flat along the back edge. The strength is directly behind the backhand face of the racket. Footwork Footwork is an essential skill for badminton. Being agile and flexible enables a badminton player move all over the court efficiently in accordance with a forehand, backhand, drop, drive shot, etc. 
and these are given below. Strokes Forehand stroke The stroke which is hit from the right side of the body by the right-handed player. Backhand stroke The stroke which is hit from the left side of a right-handed player. Smash The player will jump upwards, sideways and backwards and the shuttle is hit, smashed, quickly and forcefully downwards. Now let's discuss figure 6.3. It says forehand grip. The images given in this figure show the different angles to hold a badminton racket. Page number 56. Now moving on with the chapter. Drop. This shot is slow and is hit gently but firmly and after clearing the net, the shuttle falls close to the net. Drives. These are shots hit flat into the side zones with impact of the racket hand. Toss and clear. The shuttle is hit high and deep towards the baseline of the opponent. The service. The service is one of the most important strokes. There are two basic badminton serves. Long or high service, short or low service. The player should be centrally located on the court standing halfway between the net and the back line and near the center service line. Figure 6.4 Badminton Service This figure has three images. Image 1 shows how a player gets ready before a service. In the second image, he has hit the shuttlecock. And in the third image, he is completing that shot. Now, moving on with the chapter. Keep the body sideways to the receiver's service court. Using forehand grip, the server takes the service position with both hands between the chest and shoulder. Drop the shuttle and hitting hand is brought down and forward. Forearm rotates upward at the point of contact. 6.2.5 Scoring if a serve lands in the court of the opponent without volleyed back or the opponent returns a volley outside the play area, the server scores a point. In case of boys, it is best of 5 games of 21 points with 2 points lead. Example, 21-19, 19-21, 22-20 and 21-17 and in case of girls, Best of three games with same lead of two points. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yado, Technical Coordinator Buddy Langlingdo, Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan, Assistants in Production Ruchi Sharma, Directed and Produced by Vimilesh Choudhury. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.